Joseph Paterno. I hope you will burn in hell. Uh, here we have a man who, when he came up on that homosexual pedophile raping a young boy, instead of taking that uh, monster out of the shower and beating the shit out of him, he just walked by and presumably he reported it and that was it for him. You know, I mean, yeah, you can go and report it, but you follow up. You ask the next day, why is this son of a bitch still here? You ask next week, why isn't anything done? And you resign if the school, if the university doesn't want to do anything about it. But he didn't. What was more important for him than, uh, than uh, well-being of uh, students was to chase numbers. He wanted to go down in history books as the coach with the most wins in the college football. And he did. He passed the magic number on October 29. Basically a few days before this whole thing blew up. So congratulations, Joey. You did it. You have the most wins. And you can take it to the grave with you. The sad irony is that if he would resign within days witnessing uh, this crime, he would resign, he would truly come back within the weeks or months at the most. And he would come back and he could still get his freaking numbers that he wanted to, to chase, that he wanted to get. He would get all these numbers, he would get all these wins. And he would also have a clean conscience. He would come back taller than before, he would come back with a tall spine. But he didn't. He chose to ignore, he chose to uh, turn a blind eye. And thanks to that, there were more victims, there were more raped boys, they were raped, I mean, liberal media tries to put it in, in a terms of that he performed oral sex on them, no, 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 there was no performance, this is rape, don't call it performance. So, anyway, I'm renting out uh, around liberal, about liberal media, this is supposed to be about uh, Joey Paterno. I hope this filthy garlic eater will burn in hell.